Total and complete devastation in Jasper. Homes now burnt rubble. Neighborhoods lost to a raging wildfire. Far back as you can see, that side of the street they had sprinklers. Everywhere else, nothing but chimney standing. Officials estimate that as much as half the historic town is gone. Far as you can see. As a pair of wildfires expanded Monday night, an estimated 20,000 tourists and all 5,000 residents fled the town. Jasper National Park receives as many as 2.5 million visitors annually. One of the evacuees is Alice Varshowski, who made it to a welcoming center in Calgary. Originally from Ukraine, she fled the war and came to Canada two years ago. What can I do? I, if, I, if I break down now, I will, what will I do? I will just sit and cry and nothing's going to change, right? Ian Sheldon and his family are holding out in nearby Hinton. He and his wife own a business in Jasper. For the sake of town and everybody, I just hope downtown is still there and, uh, and that there's still homes that people can live in. Alberta's premier struggled to avoid tears describing the beauty of Jasper National Park. Those in Alberta and around the world who have experienced the magic of Jasper, the magic is not lost and it never will be. Alberta's government will provide the support needed to families and communities to recover and to rebuild stronger than ever. Today, compared to 24 hours ago, on the top of the screen, the burnt husk of a neighborhood, on the bottom, before the fires hit. Vast stretches of the town incinerated, only foundations left behind. A firefighter recorded passing by one of the burned homes and pausing. There's mom and dad's house. The weather is now helping in the form of rain, but it's not enough to keep the still raging wildfires under control. So much already lost with the hope that the worst is behind as firefighters continue their battle.